Hey, it's Wasbred. Today we have a very interesting change within the user emulator. A new setting has been introduced for texture compressing, which significantly reduces VRAM usage. From my testing, BC3 is a lot better than BC1. BC1 offers a very minor VRAM reduction with a very major texture quality loss. In comparison between uncompressed and BC3, we are seeing about 1 gig and a half of VRAM cut. In these two images, you can see the left one offers quite a lot higher visual quality. For the most part, this version has fixed most of the issues, with GUM not rendering on lower VRAM GPUs. You may not be able to notice much of a difference between BC3 and uncompressed, so I would recommend using BC3 regardless of your GPU. Next up, we're comparing the performance between EA3589 and EA3602. In this test, you may be able to notice a little bit more performance on the left during the later parts of the video. I'm not entirely sure what's causing this, but it could be very well from a user error. If you look closely, you'll be able to notice about 20% less RAM usage and about 5% less VRAM usage. For some reason in here 3589 performed quite a lot better than 3602. You may be able to notice about 10% less performance in here on the newer version. Next we're going to compare native 30 FPS against FPS plus plus 30 FPS cap. Straight out of the bat you can see native 30 FPS being quite a lot more stable. You will notice quite a lot more stuttering on the right where there is no stuttering on the left. And this is what it looks like without an FPS cap. If you look at the frame time, you will notice how much more stuttering there is actually. And here we're going to take a look between Yuzu and Ryujin for the rest of the video. Yuzu is performing about 50% faster, while Ryujin is quite a lot more efficient. This is Yuzu running in uncompressed textures. You're going to see about double the VRAM being used, and about 1GB less if you're using the compression settings, and about 3GB more RAM being used, and double the GPU usage. Ryujin is keeping up quite a lot better here. It's actually running quite a lot smoother as well, considering this is the most demanding area in the game. Next, we are taking a look how Ryujin performs in the open world. You may be able to notice that Ryujin is a little bit sharper. And here you can see the RAM usage is literally halved between Yuzu and Ryujin. The VRAM usage is being halved as well. Keep in mind this is uncompressed textures. Despite the very similar performance in here, you can see that Ryujin uses quite a lot less GPU. I think this update has been very successful for lower end GPUs. If you want to see more progress on Switch emulation, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, have a great one.